Hey, it's me. And me. Today, I am here with my friend. You've probably seen her comment on 90% of my videos. She's like, what, 50% of my ad revenue at this point? Yes. Don't tell YouTube. <laughs> And today we decided to do a little story time of how we found our favorite YouTubers. So, without further ado, let's get started. Shall we? Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> so, I figured I would start off by telling you guys how this one introduced me to Markiplier. And normally you'd think it would be just a normal story of like, oh hey, check out this video. Well, there's a whole backstory to this one. Yes. So, I had her over on New Year's. It was just us. We were partying hard, eating cookies and all that. <laughs> and blowing our trumpets. And blowing a trumpet. An actual trumpet, by the way. There's a vine of that somewhere. Don't look it up, Don't. please. <laughs> anyway, New Year's. Um, we partied hard, stayed up late. I got sick. I ate a bunch of cookies. I had had a long week and I was vomiting a lot. She threw up. I threw up lots. And so the next day, I was just laying there. My stomach was in flips and I was just like, Ugh! Exactly like that. And so this one decides to show me, there's this guy called Markiplier. I'm like, Mark with pliers? What? <laughs> Markiplier. Markiplier. And then, so she decides to show him to me. And so I'm, we're, I'm just laying there on the couch as she's like kneeling next to me with the laptop trying to show me this guy. She's like, and then my parents are right there. She's like, okay, if he starts getting mad, I'll pause the video because he starts to swear. And he starts getting mad. She's like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Sorry. they're gone. That's why. <laughs> And like, do you remember like which, which video it was? Yes, it was one where he was following this wolf, or this wolf was following you. It was it was a good slapstick. It was funny. I would mm. heal her with comedy. Yes, so. I got healed through comedy. Luckily, like I, I did feel better the next day. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what an old video. Oh, what about you? How about you? So for me, um, I discovered Tabuscus. I don't know if you've heard of Tabuscus. But uh, I, I was working at a library, and it was some pretty dark times. I had just moved away from her because we were living, you know, same town, and then I moved away into the city. And I just needed a good laugh. So I was on YouTube, and I fell down many holes of funny cat videos and just, you know, the pathetic sitting there watching going, <laughs> and I found a Tabuscus video where he was playing Slender Man. And I literally, I think it was his third video, I had it on loop, and I was just cracking it up because he kept screaming and then I found out he played The Witch's House, which if you haven't heard of it, it's a really good RPG horror. It's mm -hmm. pretty funny. I found PewDiePie that way, Mark Player, um, currently really into Shane Dawson and Joey Graceffa. Joey, I love you. Stop ruining my life. Um, and then uh, Threadbanger. And I also, I found Threadbanger. I when I'm bored, I'll go through like the popular section of YouTube videos, and usually it's like political stuff. You're like, I don't care. <laughs> but I saw this thing. It's called Raindrop Cake. And I was like, What? Somebody can make a raindrop cake? Well, she didn't make a raindrop cake. She failed that you, one. You tried, Corinne. You tried. You tried. And then, so yeah, I found that. And then I saw comments on my videos saying, Oh, hey, she looks like Corinne from Corinne vs. Pin. I was like, That sounds familiar. Who is Who's that? And I look it up. Purple hair and the glasses, and I was like. Oh. And lots of this. Lots of this. <laughs> Hand motions. So yeah, that's I basically found out that you guys basically introduced me to my new addiction. Thank you very much. Yeah. So what's the last video you watched? Um, so I'm addicted to dank meme videos. Oh dear. <laughs> and literally, I will. I have my watch later playlist. It's like 90% just dank memes. If I see one that's been posted in less than like the 24 hours, I will just be like, add to watch later. And I will sit there. Half of them aren't even that funny, honestly. I'll just sit there and just like, brain melt. <laughs> what about you? It's like the last video you watched. Uh, a Shane Dawson vlog. Shane also stopped ruining my life. We are the same. You are a trash bag. I am trash bag. We reunite. Um, and he, it was one of his uh, moot banks. And, uh, she calls it, uh, um, what was it, a boot boob? Boot bag. Boot bag. She calls it a boot bag. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a boot bag. And uh, we were thinking about maybe doing that. And if you don't know what it is, it's just, you sit here, we talk kind of like this, except for we're eating food. So if you want to watch us eat food, spill, and burp. Yeah! <laughs> so we're debating on whether we want to do that in actual videos or in live stream form so we can actually talk with you guys. You let us know. Like yeah, in the comments, in the comments down below. below. All, all two of you that are actually watching this. Yes. I'm actually going to take this time and ask you a question. Here. This is the corn. Why did you start YouTube? Um, I actually started like 
everybody right now is like, oh, I want to be a YouTuber, I want to be the YouTube game, I want to get the subscribers, make easy money. And part of me wants to be like, yes, easy money, but it's not money, honestly. But I just wanted to have, like, an area where I could talk to people and express feelings and just do whatever. You want to complain. I want to complain. <laughs> I want to complain to you guys. <laughs> but no, because, like, I don't know, um... I had a thought, I had a thought, I had a thought. Come back. Oh my gosh. I lost it. No. Oh, found my thought. Anyway. Because <laughs> like I was in the, like the cosplay community a lot and I saw a lot of them did vlogs and like showing you how to make stuff and at first I was going to do that. As you see, if you go to like my very beginning of my channel, which is not too far away. Chica. <laughs> she did a makeup for Chica. Yeah, that, that was a bad one. Anyway, but I was doing a lot of like, oh, you know, this is stuff you could do for cosplay or how to do cosplay or... How to be positive in cosplay, a lot of cosplay stuff, and I still love cosplay, but it's kind of, this channel's expanded beyond that. Yeah. Now it's like, I don't want to just talk to cosplay people, I want to talk to fan people, I want to talk to YouTube people. I just want to be out here and just be like, hey, you're stuck with me now. I want to be with the people. And then, you were thinking about starting a channel, weren't you? I was. What are you going to do? Um, I actually don't know. Uh, same thing for the reason, I want an outlet. So, you know, I can talk about anything, anything on my mind, or, you know, things I've been through in the past, or, you know, just an open diary. I want to complain. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's people out there that have maybe the same issues I've had, or are in the same boat that I am in, and, you know, want to do some comedy, might do something with the unicorn, you know. Um, you want to do that. Just be free. Be free, butterfly. And also, you know, since YouTubers have had such a big impact on both of our lives, just like, you know, we both have met Markiplier, and he was awesome. He's, Amazing. And he's always just kind of been there to be either yeah. funny or be serious or be encouraging. I just wanted to be able to be like that with others. And not even necessarily get, you know, like the big views or anything, because there's a couple of channels I follow, like um, Phelous. I don't know if any of you have heard of him. He reviews horror movies and bad Disney rip-offs. Yeah. He's not even like that serious of a channel. But I love watching his stuff just because of his unique style of comedy and stuff like that. I'm like, even John Tron. Like, John Tron's amazing. Stop! Stop! <laughs> so in conclusion, YouTube is awesome. I mean, it's full of really creative people, a great community that's, you know, wants to influence each other and, and help each other. And, you know, if you want to do YouTube, nothing's stopping you. Just do it. And if you are on YouTube, it doesn't matter how many, you know, views you have, likes, or subscribers. subscribers. As long as you're having fun and as long as you're trying to help people or, you know, just complain, <laughs> you know, yes. woohoo. Yes. And with that positive message, we will all see, we will see you all next Tuesday. Bye.